So, I'd like to demonstrate the effect of the bias knob here on a cassette player. It's uh, easy when you have a tree head deck uh, where you can immediately monitor what you're doing and also this more expensive decks will have uh, calibration tones and uh, in combination with your VU meters you can set up uh, your bias very easily but this is only two head deck so let's see uh, how this goes with the bias setting so I'm going to record some wave files and these wave files are generated by a little C program so I'm going to play 1 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz and 1 kilohertz at the one channel 10 kilohertz at the other channel it's not the way to do it but it's just for demonstration so okay a wave file has a header it makes sure the, the length of the of the file the, the playing time is, is specified the right way and then uh, here at the bottom is the actual loop that generates with the sign function uh, the points the samples uh, of the wave file so uh, so that is that you need to include the mod file so you can have the the pi constant and the and the and the sign way uh, the sign function so okay let's see what happens <coughs> when we run the executable so okay it generates this wave and I made some other versions which uh, we will come to okay I have your three different waves let's start adding a file in the player it's a one minute file that plays 1 kilohertz at the one channel and 10 kilohertz at the other and for this setting it, it needs to record only at minus 20 db so okay so that's what is looking on the scope This signal is to be recorded. One kilohertz at the one channel, ten at the other. Starting the record right here. And now I'm going to go from fully counterclockwise to fully clockwise. And then we can see what happens. and back again okay rewind let's play this back so this is signal played back from the tape it's about equal the 1 and the 10 kilohertz and now I'm increasing the bias and you see the the relationship between the high and the low frequency it, it will become different so okay that's to demonstrate the effect and now how to set it up uh, in the what I think proper way um, that is going to be another file 
remove this one and add uh, this one. So, <clears throat> so this is what my computer is doing now, it's just alternating between two frequencies. And this way we can use only one channel of the cassette player. So because yeah, to use two channels it's uh, or you have to do it in mono or something, but uh, okay, this one channel. Because there are always differences between left and right for both recording and playback levels, so it's not good to use it as a reference. Okay. So my setting is, is at minus 15 now. And here I have a mic. And I'm just going to speak onto the tape what is my setting. So I can look back when I play it back what will be the best setting. Uh, yes. So I say I just say minus 15, minus 12, minus 9 etc. minus 6, minus 3, minus 0 and plus 3, plus 6, plus 9, plus 12, plus 15 percent that will be so and now we can say uh, for the demonstration plus 15, minus 15 plus 15 minus 15 yes okay let's rewind this where is this okay play it back I'm just going to speak. So onto the tape. What you hear now is my, setting. So my voice on the tape. Look back and I play it back. What will be the best setting? Uh, yes. So you notice so the I amplitude is right here where my nail is. Minus twelve. Minus nine. Etc. Minus six, minus three, minus zero, and plus three, plus six, plus nine, plus twelve. Now you see plus fifteen percent. The higher frequency is getting less with the higher so bias setting. Say, uh, it's this difference now. Demonstration plus fifteen, minus fifteen. Is this difference minus fifteen? Yes. Okay. So I think that minus. is uh, clear what we did there. I hope. Then I would like to show what happens when we record on a much higher level. So let's say. Let's say we are going to record now on uh, on minus three dB. Yes. 
minus 3. Okay, starting the record now. Okay. Rewind. Okay. You see there is a gap now. The harder you wreck it, the less the high frequency uh, is uh, the part of it. So, yes. Okay. That's it.